Good morning, it's time for another GCSEP video from us here at High Tunstall College of Science. Today's video is all about exam technique. Now we get into that stage of proceedings where you've got GCSE examinations just around the corner. So what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about different styles of questions on a GCSE AQA physical education paper, looking at how you should approach them and our advice as a PE department. So on your examination, you'll have uh, questions ranging from uh, multiple choice uh, from one or two mark questions building up to three or four mark questions and then towards the end of the paper you'll get one six mark question and one nine mark question. So starting with multiple choice now these will be at the very start of the paper now obviously with multiple choice the correct answer is in front of you what the examiner wants you to do through reasoning is for you to select that correct answer our main advice here at High Tunstall is do not take these questions for granted take your time and look for the best Best answer from the possible four. Moving on to the one or two mark questions, these will be usually with the function word of name or state or identify, where it is essentially just asking you for basic level knowledge. Look at the question, take your time, still underline the keywords in the question, and then get your answer down nice and uh, efficiently. Moving on to the three or four mark questions, these will usually have something along the lines of describe or explain. Um, these are kind of probably questions that are targeted towards students aiming for, towards a, a grade six. Okay, so this is where you need to get down that knowledge, get down that information, but usually apply it to a sporting example as well. If it asks you to, to describe, make sure you give as much information within your response as you can. And if it asks you to explain, give your response with reasons. Try to avoid, in the first line, just rewriting the question. All right, get into your answer nice and early and make as many different points as you can. Moving on to the six or nine mark questions. Now the breakdown for a six mark question is one mark for knowledge, it is two marks for application to a practical example, and then it is three marks for your analysis, impact and evaluation, where basically you're looking to get your opinion over. So for these questions, it is key usually, for example, is it if it's evaluate the importance of agility for a 100 metre sprinter, get in straight away that you have a definition of agility in your mind. Then apply agility to the 100 metres and then evaluate and go into that depth of why you feel that probably agility isn't that useful for the 100 metres. Your nine mark question at the end is really where your top end, your grade seven, eight, nine students really excel and fly. And essentially the six and nine marker is the difference usually between an entire grade on your GCSE PE. So basically a nine marker is two marks for knowledge, two marks for application, and then it is five marks for your evaluation. So this is where it is looking for you to place your opinion forward with reasoning throughout. So if you make a point, back it up with valid fact, with valid research, and try and get as much knowledge as you can on this paper. From a time perspective, you've got an hour and 15 for the AQA GCSE paper. I'd be looking to be spending around about 20 minutes on the six and nine markers at least, okay? And when you get there, take a second, pause, have a drink of water, big deep breath, note down in the side all the knowledge that you want to get in. So if it is a question about performance enhancing drugs, Get down your performance enhancing drugs on the side, write them down, then go how you can apply them to whatever context it's asking you for. Then you go into that knowledge of what's an advantage and disadvantage to the performer of taking those particular substances. Take your time, highlight the keyword, highlight the function word at the start and really get your answer across to the examiner. Hopefully this has been a help. Um, we've got another range of um, videos on different content areas on our uh, YouTube channel. So please, this is what all the YouTubers do, by the way. They say, hit a thumbs up on the video or subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. Cheers. Thank you.